So the big question today is where in the world is CD Projekt Red? A lot of fans right now are deeply concerned about Cyberpunk's future, especially after the big announcement that yes, CD Projekt Red is in full development on the next big Witcher game. So what about Cyberpunk 2077 and its post-launch support? In fact, fans are worried that an entire expansion is going to be cut from production considering they are now working on the next big witcher game but what we're going to do is look at the group strategy update from cd project red talk about the official stuff from the team and what they have said about post-launch support the expansions and things like that and also we're going to ask the question about cyberpunk 2 the sequel what's going on with that as well but first check this out so honestly, I'm tired of all the unhealthy food options out there, but at the same time, I do want something healthy and easy to prepare, and that's affordable. Well, recently I found out about Factor, and guess what? Factor offers chef-created meals that are never frozen and are highly nutritional and require no meal prep, no more hassle of cleaning up dishes, and most importantly, no more unhealthy fast food. In fact, Factor chef quality meals arrive pre-prepared and are ready to eat in two minutes or less, no cleanup required either. I've had the chance to try Factor for myself and let me just say I'm impressed. If you want to check it out for yourself, follow my link in the description below or go to go.factor75.com and use the code POGOWG120 for $120 off. Now, one thing that I personally love about Factor is the fact that it helps me alleviate stress. I'm already busy planning and editing YouTube videos and yes, playing Elden Ring. So being able to not worry about preparing my meals is a weight off my shoulders. Factor makes my life easy. I don't have to worry about what I'm doing for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Now, Factor also offers a wide variety of meal options such as keto, calorie smart, vegan and vegetarian, and there's more than 27 plus meal options every week. You can choose and modify your own food preferences as well to ensure you get the tasty meals you want. But you can also customize your meal plan from four to 18 meals per week and adjust everything and even skip a week if you need to. Now, Factor is helping me alleviate stress, eat good and achieve my nutritional goals. Again, if you wanna join in, check out Factor, Follow the link in the description below or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGOWG120 for $120 off. All right, so back to the video. So yeah, there's deep concerns about the future of Cyberpunk right now. Let's get into the official stuff from CD Projekt Red. Starting here at one of their recent blog posts, they go on to say this, so what comes next? The plan has not changed and involves providing support for Cyberpunk moving forward, further optimizing the game, resolving issues that might impact the game's performance, stability, and gameplay, and so on, making sure that each version of the game works best on a given platform will be a driving force in deciding on the scope and range of future updates. And what we do know officially is that they are currently full force on the next big expansion. Now, furthermore, we have some comments from Adam Kinsky of CD Projekt Red. He goes on to say this, CD Projekt Red President Adam Kinsky spoke during a Polish investor Q&A that the game will have no less DLC than The Witcher 3 have. That sounds really impressive. So additionally, Kinsky said that announcements for the DLC fall similarly to what the developer did for The Witcher 3, where they announced their expansions three months ahead of their planned release window. So there you have it. That's why we have not heard about specific details regarding the first expansion right now. They only give those details three months ahead of when such a big expansion would actually release. So when we first hear like a trailer or actual details, specifics about this big first expansion, it should be releasing three months after hearing about the first official details. So keep that one in mind. Furthermore, we have this right here. It says, for those who don't remember, The Witcher 3 had two major expansions during its life cycle, including Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine, along with smaller DLC packs and add-ons. With that in mind, it is fair to think that Cyberpunk will receive the same amount at the minimum, at the very bare minimum. You gotta also remember, 
that of course CD Projekt Red is going to want to maintain a presence within the gaming community despite the fact that they're going to be in the trenches working hard on the next big Witcher game. And the way they're going to do this, in my opinion, is pump out the cyberpunk content. That's just what I would assume they would be doing. Now, this is really important. Let's take a look at the group strategy update for cyberpunk specifically. Check this out right here. This is really, really important. It says that, of course, we're going to be getting updates and free DLCs, next gen release, which is already passed, but plural expansions that is plural right there that is super important so i feel like this alone perhaps debunks the fact that an expansion would be cut for cyberpunk so just remember that i think that they really do plan on supporting this game in the very very long term going forward which i think is great news now what about that other game that's going to be developed simultaneously with this next big witcher game which i am going to assume is going to be cyberpunk 2 or as the community would call it cyberpunk 2078 so this is the post right here we got to talk about this one it says cyberpunk 2078 as we know cd Projekt red announced a witcher on unreal engine 5 do you think a new cyberpunk is being developed now after all the developers said that they have been making two triple a games since 2022 so logically the new cyberpunk will be an unreal engine 5 and is most likely being developed what do you think Unreal Engine 5 is a good sign that Cyberpunk will be doing faster than it was with their old engine and researching modding and modding tools should be easier and faster. What do you think? A lot of what do you think's in there? Hmm. So, you know, my thing is, could they possibly convert assets from Cyberpunk 2077, some sort of assets over to Unreal Engine 5? I think that perhaps is what they could potentially be studying and looking at right now, honestly. Because I don't think they want to just completely get rid of all the assets they've made for their Cyberpunk franchise. I know I wouldn't, but Unreal Engine 5 is going to be a fantastic engine for them. But yeah, I do think right now they are conceptualizing the next big Cyberpunk game. But again, a lot of people are worried that they're just going to jump ship and abandon what they've been working on with Cyberpunk 2077 and just move on to Cyberpunk 2. Check this out. It says... Uh, W4 won't be out until 2025 at the earliest. So Cyberpunk 2078 will be around 2030. Hopefully there'll be numerous expansions until Witcher 4 is out. And that is definitely an assumption right there. But we have this comment from Swiper who says this. They said they're going to be making multiple AAA games at the same time going forward. Hints why they're hiring like crazy. The next Cyberpunk game will probably start development next year once all support for 2077 is done. Four-year cycle for these games makes sense, so CD Projekt Red at good efficiency could put out a new game every two years with multiple teams, and I think this is kind of what they want to do. I think they want to push the boundaries of what's possible with releasing tons of open world games that are high quality you know we've watched rockstar with gta really really lag behind with releasing multiple gta's it's been ridiculous and i don't think that's what cd project red wants for their franchise they want more of a presence now we have most iron 6838 who says i suspect one major expansion for cyberpunk using red engine and then they drop it sequel for cyberpunk won't come until after New Witcher and also probably using Unreal Engine 5. Now, why would they ever consider dropping uh, the second expansion for Cyberpunk? Here's the only reason. If the first expansion does absolutely awful, is horribly received, you gotta remember also there's gonna be heavy competition with games like Starfield, then maybe perhaps they would actually consider dropping that as well. You gotta remember also that there's another studio molasses flood right now working on either a cyberpunk or witcher game they can be like hmm this will hold people over until the witcher 4 releases that could also be another assessment they may have backup plan on top of backup plan for what could happen in the future then we have this comment right here about the situation it says they are still hiring people for multiplayer cyberpunk 2077 so i think they want to maintain cyberpunk 2077 just like gta online and yeah if you go to the cd project red hiring page job listing page they are definitely hiring for multiplayer big time they are very curious about venturing out into that space they've seen success 
uh, with that with other publishers and developers, especially, of course, GTA 5. And I think they really, really want to tap into that for sure. Now, we have some really other cool posts here that I wanted to highlight, some of the most talked about things going on around the community. We have Machiavelli now, who's ended up in several of my videos before. He has some interesting things to say. He goes on to say this one. It's kind of disturbing that only one person in the game mentions about Morgan Blackhand is Jackie. This guy probably is the best merc in the city, but entire game, no one talks about him. I hope he will be in upcoming expansions, or at least we should get status update about him. I guess he's one of the characters that was kind of, I suppose you would say, a little bit of a lap down in Cyberpunk. We want to know more about him. But yeah, it could make sense that they would be reserving more information about him or an experience dedicated to an entire expansion which would be actually really, really cool to learn about one of the deadliest mercs in Night City. Now it's time to go over, you guessed it, your top comments. Remember, leave a comment down below. It could end up in a future video. So let's do this. This was my most recent video, Cyberpunk, new hidden updates from CD Projekt Red, new secrets discovered in the city as well. So let's go ahead and check and see what you guys had to say about this one by scrolling down all right so we have this one from juan the villain my, my boy who says you asked me cyberpunk getting better and better it'll always be something special to me because it's something new and different i feel that it's worth all the effort and needs more support than what they're getting i agree i you know what i totally agree i wish they would go all in on this game and recognize that they could have like a huge growth spurt with this game if they would just go all in like, you know, Hello Games did with No Man's Sky because they have such an amazing foundation right now with the actual Night City. But then again, what kind of does worry me is they're a little, they're looking at the engine and they're like, wow, this engine isn't going to be able to compete with what we're going to be able to do with Unreal Engine 5. And that is kind of holding them back with going all in with cyberpunk and that's just my opinion and speculation there then we have w big ben w who says i think it's safe to say now that cyberpunk is on the right track for an epic comeback this game has all the potential in the world can't wait for more story if they nail this big first uh expansion i think even the development team will be like why aren't we going all in let's go uh then we have naughty pine who says the following I would like to see them have another look at armor. Currently, there is no longer much difference between tiers. Armor level on pieces scale up the same according to your level. So an epic piece of gear has the same armor level as legendary. Conversely, I've picked up gear that has a common or uncommon armadillo mod that has a higher amount than my own crafted epic armadillo mod. Legendary items have lost their status. And with the limited number of mod slots, I don't use 95% of armor mods anymore. 21 upvotes, one of those talked about things going on right there. And yes, hopefully this is something that is addressed in the future uh, updates. Yeah, it seems like they're going to be doing quality of life updates to the base game, of course. And hopefully we get some really cool new stuff that trickles into the base game thanks to these new expansions that are uh, planned and coming up here but there it is everyone the latest happenings around cyberpunk 2077 thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for more i hope you guys enjoyed the video smack that like button if you did and i will see you all next time take care